Birds eat bugs, lions eat meat, and steam trains eat coal and water. That's just life. When the London and North Western Railway decided to speed up their Irish mail service, their chief engineer, John Ramsbottom, had to devise a way to speed up the trip. Normally, the train would have to stop to take on more water to complete the journey. The engines carried enough coal to make the trip without needing a refill, so Ramsbottom needed to devise a way to carry more water or refill their tanks without stopping. The simplest answer would have been to give them bigger tenders, but this could have been costly and may have affected the performance of some engines. Instead, he devised a better solution. The Water Scoop on long, level sections of track, a water trough was set in between the rails that would fill up over time from a nearby water source. The tenders on the engines would be fitted with water scoops that could be raised and lowered by the fireman. As the engine passed over the trough, the scoop could be lowered and the speed of the engine would force the water into the tender, refilling the engine meaning it could run on without the need to stop for more water. The scoops were also made of a soft, thin metal, meaning if they hit an obstruction on the line, they would simply be torn off without damaging the tender. The system wasn't by any means perfect. The tenders also had to be fitted with vents to allow air to escape as the water came in. It also meant that firemen needed to keep an eye on the water level in the tender, as if the tender was full with the scoop down, water would be forced through the vents, drenching the tender and possibly the men on the footplate. The troughs were also pricey to maintain and required some workers to be posted close by. The scoops also caused quite a lot of water to spray out from under the tender, which wasn't a problem on goods trains, but could end up soaking passengers on express trains sitting in the front carriage. The guard would have to tell people in the front coach to close their windows as they approached the water trough. There was one case where two streamlined LMS Royal Scott Expresses passed each other on a section of track with water troughs. One engine was taking on water and the resulting spray knocked coal off the other engine's tender, which broke a few windows of a front carriage. It also resulted in the passengers sat at the windows to get soaked from the spray. Management at the LMS heard the complaints and retired timetabled the train so it could never happen again. The troughs were also useless in winter as the water would freeze, making water pickup impossible. Despite their issues, they were used all over the country from the 1860s well into the British Rail days of the 1960s. Despite their lower speeds, smaller tank engines were also fitted with water scoops, with the Great Western Railway finding out that the slowest an engine can go for the scoop to work is roughly 15 miles an hour. Water troughs were also used in the United States on several east Eastern railroads, but were much harder to maintain given the geography of the US. As time went on and as diesel power took over, the troughs were eventually made redundant and were removed from the rails. But with steam engines built as late as the 1960s still using the scoop system, it's fair to say that Mr. Ramsbottom was onto something good when he devised the idea. Subscribe for more.